Hey guys, hey everyone, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good twilight, good whatever it is where you are. It's your girl Twin D and I am back with another message and this time it's a 911 message everyone. So without further ado, let's jump straight in and let's see what this important message is about. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, guys, let's see what's going on fast, quick, in a hurry. What is the situation here? Please, Father God, no, no, whatever, no, no, no. 911, I forgot. What's going on? What should we know? What is important that we all should know, please? What's going on with our masculines? Ten of Swords. I like that. It's in the reverse. I like that. I like that. I like that. Some of you guys out there prepare for a communication. Your Divine Masculines are receiving clarity. So it's like they're done with that period of... um. How do I say this now? I'm good for nothing energy. They're done coming off of their faces. They are done not feeling any kind of love for themselves. They are done. They're out of that energy. These divine masculines are rising up, rising up, and they will be communicating with you very, very soon. 144. What else can you tell me, please? The King of Swords. Yeah, this person is coming in to speak their truth, whoever this is. They're coming in to speak their truth. This person is going to, listen, they're going to talk your ear off, okay? They're going to talk your ear off because now they're feeling joy. Now they're feeling happiness. Now this person knows what true love really is, especially self-love. So this person is more confident than ever. You're more confident than ever. You got the ten of one. So they were encountering some kind of struggle, some burden here, but they put it down. They put it down. A cycle has ended. Nine of cups in the reverse. Yeah, th that's that self-love that they didn't have. Nine of cups in the reverse. And the six of ones in the reverse. So that's what made them feel like they couldn't achieve anything because they didn't have self-love here. They didn't have self-love. But all of that is changing. Your person is regaining control of their life. Yin Yang Twin Flame card, baby. And I don't care which one is Yin and Yang. I, I, had, I just have to say it. <laughs> oh, 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 black or white, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> well, your divine masculines are moving forward. They didn't feel like they could succeed. They didn't feel like they could do anything here. They didn't feel like they could achieve love. But something happened and your divine masculines are now off of their faces. They're no longer wallowing in pain and sadness and sorrow. They have achieved the highest love of all, unconditional love, and most importantly, for self. For self, you know, it's like no matter what they tried, it wasn't working out. No matter how they looked at things, they didn't see any way out. Oh, baby. Ace of Cups, 333. Three, three. Your divine masculines are seeing unconditional love, guys. Your divine masculines are in love with themselves. And you got a judgment. So it's like the roll call. It, it, it's time to start over. One zero one. It's time to start over. Whenever there is an ending, there is a new beginning. Your divine masculines are ready to start over. They are ready to come forward. What else is here? The nine of swords. So you see your divine masculines were in contemplation. They couldn't make up their mind. They, 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 they felt so down and beaten down and stressed out. All kind of down. I don't even know how to explain it. But they're gaining wisdom. They're gaining wisdom. They did not feel so fulfilled at all. They felt like every, every avenue they went down was a, a roadblock. But they have now achieved that self-love. The Ten of Pentacles. Something is going to lead to eternal peace, eternal joy, eternal stability, eternal love. Something is becoming more solid here for your Divine Masculines. Let's see what else we can get, please. Oh! 
reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. I love it. There you go. And retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world and express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So these are my masculines are coming forward with a love offer. They're coming to express their feelings. Because like I said, now they have experienced um, unconditional love, self-love. And that's why they couldn't love you because they had no self-love. They could be around those who use them because they allow themselves to be used. They could be around those who mistreat them because they mistreated themselves. But now that they have experienced and have achieved self-love, guess what? You have to find your crowd. You have to find where your energy matches. And that's with the Divine Feminine. Both of you have achieved this unconditional self-love. And there's a reunion happening. There's, oh my gosh, soulmate. This person is longing for you. This person wants to be with you so badly. This person is going to be rushing towards you. And love yourself first. See that? Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So Divine Feminines, once you start to love yourself, once you start to work on yourself, your masculines will do the same. And they'll be turning away from all these people who, who only use them, who, who only helps their insecurities. Because they're going to realize you're no good to me. You haven't been helping me. You've been helping me down. But you've never helped me up. Instead of helping me, you suppressed me. You made me feel worse. And, and, and the worst part about it was that I accepted these things because I couldn't love myself. Your playfulness. To recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So I told you, your masculines are happy. They're in this happy energy and they're coming forward. Give me some more in regards to what they're coming in with here. Princess of Wands. Their passions, desires, their hearts. It's bubbling, man. Their hearts are bubbling with love. So there's a message that's going to come in from these divine masculines. Passionate message. Your, your person is in this emperor energy. They are in union with themselves. They have found self-love. Look at this again. You see this? This is the major, the major block in your masculine's life right now. Their own thoughts and negativity surrounding them. So it's been keeping them down. But coming with those negative thoughts are thoughts of regrets and sorrow. That's how they got out of this funk. It's like I like saying that. It's like that's why they got out of this situation. Because they're realizing everything that they desire, everything that they, they, they wanted to move towards, they, they, they put it aside because of negative thoughts and negative people. And the seven of cups. So now they're making choices, guys. And this choice is leading them towards that spiritual change. Now they're seeing what true love really is. You're a part of their choice as well. And the Empress, there you are. You are a part of their choice. You are their choice. And you see that one cup? They're coming in with this cup of love for you. And if you can also see, it's this Empress giving in to this other Empress. Self-love. They have achieved self-love. And that's why we got the Empress. Because guess what? Because now they're balancing their feminine energy with their masculine energy. That's how they have found self-love. By looking at their feminine energy, working on it, loving more, self-respect. Give me some truth on this message, please, Father God. Give me some truth on this message, please. Focus on you. That's your self-growth. 939. You have rejection. And intimidated by you. So your divine masculines here. Most of them here. They were holding back. There were people in the mix here. 
Like I said, these people, instead of um, helping them out of their sorrows, they put them more in their sorrows. That's why your maskings are going to see that, hey, you, you are not helping me. You were not helping me. You were supposed to support me, to help me, to guide me. But instead, you send me down the wrong roads. And they're rejecting their past. They're focusing on themselves. Oh boy, focus on self-growth. And Divine Feminine, it's your feminine energy. You see, they were intimidated by true love. But it's that same true love that made them realize what they truly needed in their life. Let go and let God. There's a, recon there's a reconciliation coming in. And it's going to be beautiful. Take care of yourselves, everyone. 1055. Your masculines are ready to start over. Let go and let God to purchase your book or reading. Go to twindflamed.square.site. 